In today's project, we are going to embroider patches. Then we are going to attach our patch onto our hat using the Stalls IQ 360 heat press. Perfect, perfect for this type of project. Let's get this project started. Bring over the GoPro so you could get a perfect view of what's going on. All right, let's go. Okay, here we have our heat press station. I got our flat, this is the 15 by 15. And we have our hat heat press specifically made for hats. Okay, so use this for the patch, use this for the hat. First, I just wanna measure our pressure. Okay, so we always wanna put our pillow just to give our stitches a good place to rest so what you want to do you want to make sure your pressure on your machine okay it's nice and tight not too tight not too loose so it's pretty tight so let me lower it a tad bit okay so I'm gonna go 320 degrees you could go anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, we have our adhesive. Okay, you just wanna make, okay, sticky side. This is the sticky side. Goes down, paper goes up. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that all your stitches are being covered. Okay, and Use our Teflon sheet to protect everything. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, you can tell when you get a good press because you could just feel, okay, the paper and the stitches, okay, going through. Got a good one here, okay. So nothing's hanging out, nothing's sticking out. Okay, so now that we have our patches heat pressed, our adhesive heat pressed, it's just a matter of cutting these up. Okay, let's give a good super zoomed in. Okay. All right, so this is good detail work right here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's attach the patch on the hat. Okay, so I have the heat press warming up right now. Okay, I have four minutes remaining. This was pretty cool about this one. It tells you uh, once you do your settings, it'll tell you how much longer you have to wait. This, this uh, heat press, pretty much also other heat presses too, the powerful ones, uh, you want it on its own dedicated circuit breaker. Okay, since I have two, I always make sure I unplug the big one if I'm going to use the hat press. Uh, here I have, I'm on a uh, wide lens just so you could get a full view of what's going on here. Here you place the temperature, top and bottom, the time and the pressure. I've already checked it and I like to be, you could go between one through 10, okay? I like to be between six or seven, okay? Material wise, very basic stuff, okay? Of course you have your hat, right? That you're gonna use. You're gonna use this padding, okay? You'll see why I have this padding. And of course we have our patch. Okay, so to do a practice run, okay, we have one minute left, so this is a perfect time to set it up, okay. It's kind of similar if you're embroidering hats also, okay, because you got to set it up, and down here, you pull down, 
and it'll tighten up your hat on top. If I wanna check my pressure, I'm gonna put this. This is just a dry run, okay. I'm at six. Okay, I'm using the, this hat, the classics, Yupong. Okay, these are my favorite dad hats that I like to use, especially for embroidery, but of course for patches also. Okay, so bam, it says ready, lower plan to print. All right, so these are my settings. Okay, I got top 320, bottom 320 for 50 seconds. It has some different settings, but I've been playing around with it. And these are the settings that gave me the best, best results. Okay, so, you know, you always gotta tweak stuff up, all right? It could always depend on your patch. It can depend on your hat, okay? There's a lot of variables when you're dealing with a uh, custom garment, okay? So, lock this up. Okay. See if you can see this, okay? It's locked up, nice and warm down here. Okay, we got our patch. Okay, peel off the back. Okay, bam, look at that. Okay, you wanna make sure you center it. All right, if you push it down a little, the adhesive kind of start warming up, hold in place. Okay, once you know you're good, Bam, we're good. Okay, so we're at a six pressure between six and seven. It's kind of alternating right here. Okay, do it for 50 seconds because you want that glue to sizzle in there. Okay, you want it to lock in with the hat so you don't have any issues in the future. Stand back. Okay, throw that out. Now. Okay, so this is what I saw. This is a big patch. Okay, this is big. This is three inches. So what's happening right now, this bottom part is locked in. This top part was kind of hanging out. Okay, so I definitely want to come back. Okay, I want to hoop it up again. Okay, but this time I want to bring it forward a little so that back part, okay, that back part, let me show you. All right, you want this back part because these are the, these are the, the points that you really gotta be careful with, okay? So since it's big, it really didn't get this part hit with. So we're going to run it, but we're gonna be focused more on this side, okay? So I pulled up the hat a little bit up forward. All right, so let's go ahead. Right. Look at that. Look at that. You could usually tell, you could look at the sides and if you see any uh, shadows or gaps, you could tell if it didn't grab on tight. Okay, and let's see our final project over here. Look at this. As you can see, this is a big patch. Okay, this is a very big, big patch on this hat. Okay, it's three inches, this patch, okay. You can see how nice and how solid it's attached onto the hat. Now, I did throw another, I made another one, another hat before, and I actually tossed it in the washer. Okay, as you can see, Okay, I'm not doing this to this one right now because you don't want to mess with it.
for at least 24 hours. Of course you wouldn't want to do this to your hat, but kind of like trying to tear it off. It doesn't come off. Okay, you can see no stitches. It survived the washer and the dryer and it survived me playing with it. Okay, messing with it. All right, so this glue, this glue is gonna hold. All right, now one of my recommendations, I would recommend not to go this big on the head. I did it three inches just for testing purpose. Okay, does look good. Okay, if you do do three inches, you might have to do it in two takes. Okay, you might wanna do the first front part first and then back it up through the back. Okay, but so far, looks good, looks nice. Okay, thank you for joining us today. Till the next time, peace.